<laughs> you didn't know all the ways I loved you. My name is Austin Sears. I'm a person in long-term recovery. For me, that means I no longer find it necessary to use mind and mood-altering substances, and my life has been able to get better because of it. Growing up, you know, I've had issues as long as I can remember with self-acceptance, with self-esteem. I went through some childhood abuse at four years old, maybe five years old, and I didn't realize how bad that could have messed me up until I got older. As I got older, I finally started to find acceptance in the people who were using drugs, who were drinking alcohol, and I kind of clung to that. I went to Virginia Tech out of high school. I had a decent scholarship to go there, but I was in no way, shape, or form prepared for what college was gonna bring for me. And because of that, I quickly had to leave. I found myself homeless at points. I found myself destitute at times. I found myself committing crimes that I never thought I would commit. I found myself, I mean, clawing for air, gasping for life, when really there was no life left in me to gasp for. Um, my addiction brought me all the way down to Radford, Virginia, where I was homeless and living out of motels, bouncing from place to place. And my mom put me on the phone with somebody, John S., who told me, hey, we have a program here in Richmond. If you want to come to it, you're more than welcome to. I got drivers who can come get you right now. And I said, all right, let me try it. So I was picked up uh, that day, brought here, given food, given boxers, because I only had one pair at the time. And uh, that was in 2015. Since then, I've bounced around McShin to other recovery paths and recovery houses in the city of Richmond. I've been to rehab in Florida. I've been to recovery houses in Florida. I've been to rehab in New Jersey. Um, and nothing seemed to work because I wasn't ready to accept that I was an addict, truly. I really struggled with who I was as Austin on a day-to-day -day basis because who I was and who I wanted to be was so different from one another, I thought. It turns out that who I want to be is somebody who just cares for other people, and I've always known that, but the McShen Foundation, the kindness, the love, the loyalty that I feel from this place, the unwavering support that I feel from this place, it puts me in a place where I am able to love myself a little more every day. At the moment, as alumni, I'm not obligated to be up here, but I still come up here on most days because I know where the love is. I know where the happiness is. I know where my friends are, my real friends, not the fake friends that I thought I had who accepted me because I brought a case of beer to the party, who accepted me because I'd always come with twice as much weed as I needed because I knew other people wanted to smoke. Um, I mean, at the root of me, I've never been able to accept myself, but that's what I think the recovery community organizations offer more than just a safe place to go to get clean from drugs and alcohol. They offer you a home where you can be yourself, where you can be accepted, where you can feel loved and welcomed with open arms, no matter if you've relapsed no times and it's your first time, or whether you've relapsed a hundred times, you can always come back and get that same place. And there's no better place that I've found than the McShen Foundation um, to be able to get that love and that acceptance that I thought I needed for so long. I mean, I'm grateful for everything. They've never asked me for much except for to stay clean and keep coming back. And I've done, of all the things I've done wrong, I've always kept coming back. Um, and I plan to continue to do so.